A man is accused of drunk driving and causing a crash that took the life of an Illyria grandmother. Her family is furious that the suspect still walking free. 19 investigator Kelly Kennedy discovered he's a repeat OVI offender. She has the emotional story that you'll see on Just One Station. Said she had been involved in an accident. I wanted to know, was she okay? <laughs> and he said, I need to come to your house and talk to you. It's been more than two months since Penny Abdyko lost her older sister, 50-year-old Sherry Taylor. Abdyko says her sister was coming to pick her up from work on July 7th. She said, all right, I love you, see you in a minute. But she waited and waited, and her sister never showed up. So I heard the sirens, and I'm like, well, maybe she's caught up behind an accident. Elyria police body camera video shows the horrifying crash scene. It happened at the intersection of North Abbey Road and State Route 57. Police say 41-year-old Joshua Thompson was speeding, ran the red light, and crashed into Taylor's car. When I walked up, he goes, I'm going to jail. He goes, I'm going to jail. Taylor died at the scene. Police reports say Thompson was slurring his words and they could smell alcohol. And there were even cans of beer scattered around his car. Right turn the wrong time. And where did that car come from? Yeah, bye now. Officers say Thompson admitted he had been drinking before the crash. It's, it's almost sickening because, like, there's Ubers, there's Lyft. The irony in all this? Taylor was an Uber driver. She wanted to make sure that... I got home safe. That ate me up because, yes, I got home safe, but you didn't. So I dug into Thompson's criminal record, and as it turns out, this was definitely not the first time he was arrested for drinking and driving. The first time was back in 2001 when Thompson wasn't even old enough to legally drink yet. He was just 17 years old. Thompson was arrested for drinking and driving three more times after that. His punishment, a 72-hour driver intervention course and a temporary license suspension. Thompson had just got his license back in February, a few months before Taylor died. Do you feel like if he had faced tougher consequences for his previous crimes, then maybe your sister would still be Absolutely. here? Absolutely. Absolutely. She would definitely still be here. He should have been in prison and not on the streets. Thompson was charged with OVI. Elyria police plan to present the case to the Lorain County Grand Jury, where more serious charges are likely. But in the meantime, Thompson is out free. Abdyko says she's seen him on his porch. You can kill my sister and still sit on your porch with a, a beer or a twisted tea. Now the courts have not been able to confirm if Thompson's driver's license is currently suspended. We'll keep you updated as his case progresses. Reporting in Elyria, I'm Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.